lift up the self by the self. And don't let the self droop down. For the self is the self's only friend. And the self is the self's only foe. I didn't make this up. These words are from the English translation of a verse from the Bhagavad Gita, a holy scripture of the Hindu religion written in Sanskrit. In other words, you were the one who pulled yourself down. So now, you should be the one to pull yourself back up. Doesn't it make sense? To me it does. It makes perfect sense. You see, when people are alone, they tend to become depressed and lose their self-esteem. It's like they need someone around them to get things going. Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be talking to you about a few things. Depression is the eighth leading cause of death in the United States. And so, first we will learn what depression and low self-esteem can do to us. Secondly, we will learn one way to take the state out of our mind. And lastly, as we climb out of this deep, dark hole and find a solution, we will discuss different ways to embrace ourselves. Having a low self-esteem can have intense emotional effects on an individual. It can lead a person to believe that they have no confidence or control over their life in this world. Some can easily be swayed by others. A few people can sense this low self-esteem and can take advantage of it in persuading them to do things that they normally wouldn't do. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that one in ten Americans have been depressed at one point or another. Now, the primary reason cited for this depressed feeling is none other than the fact that people aren't putting self-love to action and they aren't feeling good about themselves. That's right. It's not the environment. It's not their illnesses and it's not the family members that they've lost but it's how they're feeling about themselves that is making them depressed. So, now that we've taken a look at the problem, let's talk about a possible solution. What these people need is someone to uplift their spirits. And who can help? The answer is simple. A friend, more so a best friend. Now, who is a best friend? A best friend is someone who is always there for you, and someone who will always support you when you need. You can always trust your best friend to have faith in you. Now, 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 I'm not saying that you should go around on a mission looking for someone to call your best friend. Instead, I would like for you to take a look at yourself. From early childhood, we have been taught to treat others with love, respect and kindness. But this statement does not tell us how to treat ourselves. The best friend you can ever have stares at you in the mirror every morning. So go ahead, nurture and adopt the relationship. And soon you will find out what it is truly like to be a best friend. And you will know that you have to be your own best friend. My tennis coach always tells me but my mental game is very important. But to have strength, I need to have trust and confidence in myself. To achieve great things in life, you have to have faith in yourself. And when you have your best friend at your side to help you out, or in other words, yourself, it makes things so much easier. <coughs> A 19th century philosopher, Swami Vivekananda, preached that only one can save oneself. I like his philosophy that one has to grow inside out and pull himself out of difficulty. He says, one is assertive, one is confident, and one is not afraid. Then the path to success becomes so much easier. Therefore, we have to look for the best friend in the inner self and nurture that relationship 
so that reaching our goals and objectives will become easier and we will be satisfied in life. <coughs> when making decisions, we often tend to mistrust our judgments and opinions. Why? Due to our lack of self-confidence, of self-trust. Now, while this mistrust might serve as a safety check, if it is done excessively and turns into self-doubt, it will only hurt you. Louis Proto, author of the book, Be Your Own Best Friend, says, People have to learn to accept themselves before they accept others. But often, a sense of self-worth eludes people, making it hard for them to succeed. So, now that we've taken a look at a possible solution, let's talk about a few ways to embrace ourselves. Do something every day that makes you feel great. Eat foods that nourish your cells, not only your taste buds. Foods like hot cocoa, tofu, and walnuts are great. Renowned motivational speaker, Anthony Robbins, says, never say, I'm not good enough. Instead, replace it with I'm great and dwell on it. The truth is, all our insecurities come from within, not the people around us. If you have a negative mindset about yourself, how can you get things done? You are only turning to your own enemy. And would you do that to your own best friend? Now, I'm not saying that you should go around saying, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. What that face on? You know what I mean. Instead, you have to train both your body and your mind to believe that you are the greatest person out there. Now, while you're at it, do things that you want to do. Whether it's being a great artist, or being a great dancer, whatever it is, do it. And focus on it. This will give you something to be confident about. And when you achieve it, your confidence will grow. So ladies and gentlemen, take away that sorrow and depression out of your mind. Be positive. Love yourself. Be yourself and be your own best friend. Thank you.